There was less than 36 hours till Christmas as I rounded the windy rump and wound down through the bush towards Uncle John's garage. I brought with me a pair of 90s sleds who had fired up on a Schenectady side street in the brown light of October Eve. And so I said, I'll take them. But after driving them home, they never started again. And with winter's paws inches from our haunches, it was time to get them square and ready for the season. It's the perfect, like... (laughs) stayed on the film strips of careful it's something you want to look for all these tiny little parts right Mm -hmm. this thing has a paper gasket too that's why we're doing it now but it's only gonna get worse yeah better to play with all this stuff all right now this peg can get wow now it would be easy to be bolstered
Oh, look at it. See, now it's clear. You see that? So we did it. Somehow we got that clear. You see it? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. running daylight through there. So that's good. Because I already did this to my carburetor. Yours identical. Is this for the kitchen, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> got the 98 running that eve, but the 96 was yet to come. And the next day was Christmas Eve, and we worked a bit and wrapped the presents, and I thought of how I hadn't wrapped the present earlier than Christmas Eve in about five years, and how humans often need that last minute pressure to actually execute. And before we headed to Allie's parents for the night, I darted around the blue town to capture the glow in the fresh snow we had miraculously received in perfect timing between all the rain. And I was happy and excited, for now we'd have snow on Christmas. bread for our Christmas meal the next day, and we all sat in the kitchen and talked and played games, and the magic of Christmas was alive. And on Christmas Day, it rained, but the snow held on. And we went back to Allie's early to celebrate the day. I'm gonna sit right in front of the gifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you guys were gonna do it. 
Everyone get their self a drink. The sweet potato pie is in the oven. It's water, whatever. Yeah. The only wine I have is this. I'm after yesterday, I don't think I'm gonna I wanna make sure I got everything. I gotta get my stuff out of the way, girl. Uh, yeah. Real girl. They brought the sweet potato casserole. I know. Same thing, but a little bigger. Cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and we had a wholesome day in the big white house and then headed to the little red house by the river to celebrate with my parents. I bet he was mesmerizing live, you know? I can't, the guy man. talking in German introducing I can't believe it's a live recording from 19. You should get the Christmas cactus because of And we ate well and listened to the new records and did our usual after dinner routine. Oh, they're awesome. They really are. They're awesome. Just. Do it again soon. We gotta keep them chill. And just before the day was over, we gave Mowgli his gifts too. Well, here's the first thing you got for Christmas. No. Look. This is what you got. Whoa. Let's see what it is. Is this what you're looking for? Whoa. Just bit out of my hand. Look, there's more right here. And the next night, after a warm dinner at the pub, I saw the glowing windows of Noah's studio above the waterfall and threw a pebble at his window as flakes fell under the street lamps. I don't know if he's tried this yet. I don't know if, I've, if you've had this wine. But, um... Big that is fantastic. This whole roll is just all from that day. I love that one too. That's so. The black and white is just too clean. 
And a few days later, with precious cargo, I rolled to the aid of the maestro. The strapping for his fuel tank had rusted out, and there was framework to be done too. So the utility bed came off, and the naked and embarrassed Cummings diesel was rolled into the warm garage. Full tank. Um, I had a. <laughs> so that's your fuel gauge right there. And then I took that blueberry pie to the little red house for my dad's birthday. So they're attached to the original ash. Yeah, so it's not just a strip one. Wow. It's a real deal. Yeah, that's cool. It but is. It's definitely fun. It is, yeah. A nice little switch up from nothing. <laughs> Well, it's perfect, right? Uh, it's perfect. And we had scratch tickets for fun, filled our bellies, and watched Curb Your Enthusiasm. And then started the next day with a hike before packing and preparing for New Year's Eve in the Adirondacks. Kaylee found us a little Airbnb just down from the snowmobile shop in a town called Speculator. <laughs> I, bought, I bought oranges. Thanks. I bought a bunch of oranges. 
Look at this. It's like we went oh, up here. My. <laughs> yeah. So you Two would think. <laughs> <laughs> this room is so cool with the little Christmas tree. See if I can make something happen with this. <laughs> Come on! Baby. Come on. <laughs> All right, yeah. Every recent New Year's Eve I can remember was an unorganized bust. And this year we were doing it right. There was nothing but excitement and good energy in the air. I ordered it and then it was like two weeks old. And I got the tilt the cage. You know, this is this Dutch guy. And he bought these two. He's still writing cursive, that doesn't look good. Fireworks a New Year's thing usually? Are they? I mean, yeah. Yeah? Okay. They, 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 when they drop the ball or whatever, they'll have a display. Okay. I love strength training, mm. uh, but I just, I don't. <laughs> oh, they even left that? What, what is that? that? New Year's Eve. No, Christmas. That's good. That's good that you could say no. I just physically couldn't. Some people can do it. I couldn't. Those days are... <laughs> Those days are behind me. No, they're not. You're young uh, forever. If you're mentally... I no, I, I, I'm definitely going to be young forever. But, but she brought me that. Snow up, I, I know, I was just thinking that. And we bounced between the house and the fire and ate and drank to our heart's content and wished each other a happy new year. And meant it. Take those abs up. Ah! Push into your fingers. Push into your fingers. It it's looks like a cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Such a great <laughs> thing. Yeah, exactly. Pad. We'll do this. Uh, oh my god. The gymnasium. Wait, did we even try the opening? You weighed it. How much? What? You're going. I'm, it's on the scale, but it's kind of a performative act because I don't really know what I'm doing. It's kind of a nice, clean move. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> elevate the whole That's, I mean, board. <laughs> like anyone who doesn't ask me thinks that this is going to be really good. And then, one of my favorite feelings in the world. Waking slow and cooking a group breakfast in PJs.
please, just a little bit of this. And Noah and I swapped lenses and cameras and geeked out over all the gear. Jason and Yolani left in the late morning, but we had one more night at the stronghold. So the rest of us went for an afternoon hike to find a waterfall. And the cold air was life-giving. And I was in heaven with my camera, mesmerized by all the textures. Dinner that second night, Noah cooked his famous burgers and homemade fries. Grilled onion? Hmm. Or raw onion? You know, that's. I enjoy both a lot. Me too. too. That's the thing. Thank you.
tradition was born, as we tossed snowballs at the lone champagne bottle left on the stump from the year before. And it was with optimistic gusto that we flew into 2022.